Aston Villa's expensively assembled aristocrats were in the mood to knock all talk of Wimbledon's famous fighting spirit firmly on the head. And in the early stages, they gave the South Londoners the runaround. Dalian Atkinson, Dean Saunders and Ray Houghton with well-timed penetrative runs, causing problems for John Scales and the rest of the home side's back line. Hans Sager's working overtime in the Wimbledon goal and riding his luck. It was no surprise when the visitors took the lead on 17 minutes. A perfectly timed pass from Ray Houghton and Kevin Richardson with a clinical finish. No chance this time for Sagers. And at that stage, it looked a question of how many Villa were going to win by. But that famed Wimbledon spirit doesn't evaporate easily. They soaked up the pressure and gradually got back into things. And six minutes before the break, they were level. Dean Holdsworth taking advantage of Robbie Earle's hard work for his first goal of the season. And that one didn't go down too well with the Villa manager. It was all Villa in the second half, but Daly and Atkinson wasted three good scoring chances. And Ray Houghton really should have hit the target with this effort. At the other end, Fash and company were getting no change out of the excellent Paul McGrath. And just when it looked like the game was drifting, it came alive in the unlikeliest manner. Eight minutes left, Steve Staunton with the corner, and Villa back in front. Paul McGrath was credited with the final touch, but a closer examination suggests a Wimbledon boot. But there was no argument about who was to blame. It was my fault, yeah. I was, I'm told to do the job on the, the near post myself and Saints. So as the ball came in, you know, it was really my fault. I pulled away. That goal would have finished many teams, but three minutes later, the big man made amends with his third goal in as many games. It was the same old story. Wimbledon at their most dangerous when they're down. That's when you know we're going to come back. You get the whiplash. You know, you know it's always going to come. They're the Cobra. We're going to come back again. And we've always done that. Chelsea, we've done that. You know, we go to, to Sheffield United on Tuesday. If we go one down, we'll come again. I mean, preferably, it's nice not to go one down. But if you have to go one down, then you know we're going to come back. We've got the armour, and Jones is not playing yet. We haven't even unleashed the madman on him. Vinny hopes to return from injury next week, further strengthening manager Joe Kinnear's hand. And I've said to our lads, if we can go through August, the six matches in August, let's stay undefeated in August, and let's go into September undefeated. That'll be six games out of the way, and who knows, we might find ourselves in the top six. There's obviously a long way to go, but the Wimbledon way proves that hard graft and unlimited self-belief can overcome the odds against opponents of superior quality. Wimbledon 2, Aston Villa 2. Well, John, obviously Selhurst Park, a place you know extremely well. Yes. Um, that was not a bad result, really, for Wimbledon, and fairly typical of John Fashion, who's just scored in the last five minutes. Yeah, they'll be very pleased with that draw. I mean, Villa obviously looking to, to get a good start and get up there straight away. They'll be disappointed, but again, Wimbledon have come back. I saw them come back against Chelsea. Um, Wise put them in front, but their spirit is amazing. But they've got good quality. I watched them, and you know they've got good defensive players, good in midfield, and of course Holdsworth and, and Fashion are working brilliantly together and always going to score goals. So it's not surprising when they do that. But Villa be a bit disappointed. Obviously conceding a goal in the last five minutes that would have given a great three points. But now on to United, and they'll, I think they've got good confidence, and that would be a great match for them. That'd be a cracker, and I'm going for a draw there. But Villa, I think, will be back. You heard it here first. So another good result for Wimbledon against one of the big boys.